7.15. Okay, uh, I'll call the uh, this hearing together of the uh, Hadley uh, Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, the first item on our agenda tonight is uh, the Town of Hadley's Senior Center Building Committee seeks relief from Zoning Bylaw Section 19.3, which requires a shingle roof appearance. The new Senior Center is designed with a metal standing seam roof. And I'll ask for somebody to... Sure. Uh, so I'm Phil Palumbo, the OPM on the project. Uh, this is Chris Wanty, project architect. Jane Evan smith Building Committee Chair. Um, so the um, Senior Center Building Committee Architect and OPM have voted and felt the uh, standing seam metal roof is the appropriate roof for the building. Um, we feel that it's more durable than an asphalt shingle roof. The building committee has um, indicated that in the future they may want to install PV panels. The standing seam metal roof we're going to use is um, it has a system such that PV panels are more easily installed to the to the standing seam portion of them. Um, and we feel over time it's going to be less maintenance and less money for the town of Halley to upkeep. Um, as well as it's going to match, for example, the town hall roof um, and other um, the, the public safety building and, and other town buildings that have the same metal roof style. Mm -hmm. We have a sample here <coughs> that came off the public safety building. Our intent is to essentially match that. Um, we're told by the different uh, manufacturers that they all color-wise essentially have all the same 20 colors, so we shouldn't have our time matching um, color-wise. So, uh, was there anything else? Yeah. No, that was pretty, pretty much it. Much it yeah. um, that's it in a nutshell. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I guess the question I have is um, have you been to the planning board for site plan approval yet? Not yet. Okay, well, this to me is something that would be addressed by the planning board under site plan approval. They told us that we had to get a variance. Well, I've got two letters from two members of this planning board, and I'll read them okay. for the record. Um, I'm writing this letter as a single member of the Hadley planning board, not on, not on behalf of it. The legal notice that was in the newspaper was posted after our last meeting and the public hearing is on the same night as our regularly scheduled planning board meeting. So the planning board did not and will not have the opportunity to voice any opinion on this matter. The item of concern is the proposed new senior center seeking relief from the sh uh, shingle roof appearance. Uh, since this is since this is regarding the application uh, to not be required to comply with the zoning bylaw, this relief must mean a variance is being requested. I am opposed to granting this variance. As you are aware, there are several provisions for granting a variance, soil condition, shape, topography, and such land or structures, and especially affecting such land or structures, uh, but not affecting generally the zoning district in which it is located. The literary enforcement of the provision of this bylaw would involve sustaining hardship, financial or otherwise, to the appellant. Um, the proposed senior center meets none of this criteria. The planning board has been adamant that any project that comes before the planning board in the village overlay district comply with the village overlay bylaws. James Maximoski. Uh, I have another one. It has come to my attention that the Hadley Senior Center Building Committee is attempting to circumvent uh, by appealing to the ZBA prior to the planning board review, the site plan uh, approval process, in particular the zoning bylaw requirements pertaining to the village overlay district. I am baffled why this committee believes that a complex site plan review should not apply to this project when in fact as a user of taxpayer dollars, it should be held in the highest standards of the law. As a single member of the planning board, I respectfully request that you do not hear this premature appeal and allow the planning board to complete its sworn duty. Uh, uh, Michael Sarzinski. 
I have a quick. I have a question. <clears throat> uh, so procedurally, maybe it makes sense to let the planning board deny the request, and then we can take it up. Uh, so we could potentially just be sort of uh, holding off on making a decision. Well, I just, meeting. I just don't think that our. Uh, but I guess larger wise, uh, I just noticed. I just happened to notice the other day that like. All the roofs, all the town building roofs around here have that metal standing seam. That is what the maintenance department wants us to have, and Gary Berg is on our committee, yeah. the building committee. If not eventually like going to it, I believe. I know, so we, they weren't, they're not, they're not from before the village overlay district bylaw, right? No. <laughs> so we've gone to concert, uh, historical, and we've gone to um, uh, the municipal building department. We spoke to them, and they're in favor of this. Um, so why are you bringing up this one issue prior to going for site plan approval? Because the planning board has made it known that they are going to stop this project. And so if they have no reasons to stop it, and that would be uh, already having a variance to the overlay district. Well, uh, uh, my general knowledge is if there's a bylaw in, in the the ultimate design is to do something that is not the bylaw. You seek a variance. That's why we're here. It has nothing to do with. Yeah, but if uh, the if the if the planning board, uh, to me, that is where all the questions about the whole project are negotiated at the planning board at that level, and then if there's any exception after that, you have recourse to the zoning board of appeals. So, I mean, and. You know, you're, you're kind of putting the cart before the horse. Not necessarily, and I totally but disagree I just, with that. Mr. Makamowski said to us... I honestly thought weeks. this is the formal process of how you do this. It is. No. If there's a bylaw... It is. It is. We've, never, we've never had anything come before us prior to site plan approval. Actually, maybe not you per se, but the zoning board has in the past. I, I, think, we, I think we have given relief... Um, yeah. It's not a requirement yes. that they reject it before they come before us. I mean, you're seeking a variance for a written bylaw that you you want to totally avoid. separate entity. Yeah. So I mean, well, I mean, to answer your question though, you, we're trying to, you know, the project got delayed. We had to go out for more funding, so we're, we're trying to keep things moving. Mm -hmm. um, we have the date of when we're going to submit to the planning board, um, and you know, then the sub subsequent hearing. But the idea is just to keep things moving. So we coordinate with Tim to to get this on this. But tonight, um, just again, keep things moving, not to avoid, you know, anything with site plan approval. How 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 old are the metal roofs that are on the? Is there a metal roof on, on this yes. building? Six years. <laughs> yes. And, and there's one, one. And there's one on Hooker School. Right. Yes. There's and one there's one on the, on the senior there's center right now. One on the church. DPW. Farm mm -hmm. museum. How did the, the, they, they all the, had metal <laughs> roofs a <laughs> long time ago? Did they get variances? No. But well, that I think that probably could be or has been negotiated in through the planning board in no, the site plan no. approval process. What does the planning board doesn't have approval to give a permission for a variance? Right. No, that's either why I asked the rules. Yeah, they, they, John, they're, they're two so totally separate, distinct issues here. Well, I mean, they have no jurisdiction over granting a variance with regard to a zoning bylaw. It doesn't matter which way they go, one over the other or parallel. And quite honestly, in the 30 years I've been here, it's been both back and forth. It all depends on how you want, want to do it. But is there anything stated within our bylaw? Is there anything stated in the commercial plan review process that stipulates that one would seek plan, commercial plan review prior to seeking a variance, no. But there is certainly stuff in our bylaws that talk about seeking findings and, and whatnot prior in front of the zoning board. And they're, again, they're totally two distinct things. What the planning board can stipulate is that they can say yay or nay to their their review, but at the time, say, in our opinion, as a planning board, that one needs to seek the variance for this part of the bylaw. But 
as far as what comes first and what comes second, there is absolutely nothing in the bylaws that stipulate that. And, th and that's kind of why I said what I said about keeping things moving is, mm -hmm. you know, like you mentioned, they're not going to be the ones saying, okay, here's your variance. It's going to be you guys. Yeah. Even if they want to say, go ahead, I mean, you still have the bylaw to go right. as well. Right. So their site plan approval is based off of bylaws that say this or say that. So because the bylaw doesn't say that, we got to seek a variance. So that's kind of what we're just trying to yeah. chip away here. Well, and then the other thing is that, and that the, the, the uh, zoning bylaw does stipulate that in the... Uh, uh, Village overlay district, that's what's required is a single roof. So let's suppose this scenario would happen. Let's suppose they come in front of you, like they're doing right now, and you don't grant it. If they had gone through site plan approval with the with the metal roof, then they have to go back and go through the process again. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't you think that the the proper process is get, seek the variance one way or the other, then show through uh, through site plan approval what you got. Uh, I'm of the opinion I've blocked horns with this planning board enough on uh, variances, and I I am committed to let them go to. Uh, site plan approval first and then come back to us. I but they'll be back I, here again regardless. Well, yeah. but they can come back. But I even if they think you're gonna go down a slippery slope on that, John. Well then so be it. If, pardon me, John, but what why what's your hesitation in granting a variance for the bylaw and making them go through the process to, for them to say no and then come before us again anyway? Because it has always been and in, in when I've been here that you go to site plan approval first and there may be other issues that need need to have a variance in the project also, because there always has been most either of lighting, the, uh, not lighting, but uh, signage. Uh, so signage. Most of the things that you've dealt with is signage, and there's always been a problem with signage between the two boards. So. And and yes, all and what we've argued, and you've argued, I've argued to the select board. We need a committee to review these things that's separate from the two boards that's independent to make sure that things are compatible. How did that how did this whole thing come in place? It was just a few people getting together and and thinking that shingles are historical, but they're not. They never have been. But they put it in there, mm -hmm. just like the signage, internally lit signs. Somebody had a bone to pick on that. And unfortunately, at the 11th hour, it got passed. Well, but Should it be at, in there? No. At several town meetings, the sign uh, bylaw has been brought up. And, and never why, why did it fail? Not because of anything other than a lot of questions were being asked that could not be answered on town meeting floor. And that was the only reason. Because one of the things the last two times we've talked about intensity. And we and there at those times we couldn't define intensity. <clears throat> now you do. But there I don't I don't think that statement that has been stated by several people from the planning board that we're not going to bring back signage because we tried it two uh, two other times and it failed. The merit on that is, well, there was too many questions that were being asked. It wasn't that it, it was that it didn't pass. It was it it was more. Let's bring it back after some discussion. And I think the the issue here before you is a legitimate one because one of the major things that the that the town wants to do is start trying to save money with some, by putting solar on our buildings. What's the best roof system for solar? It is a metal standing seam roof. Because the last thing you want to do on a shingled roof is put a hole in it. And what do you do with a shingled roof putting solar on, putting hundreds of holes in it? I'm not against the, 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 the roof. I'm against the procedure we're going about it. 
but they're two distinct, separate entities. That's your opinion. Yes, I have is. my opinion. As a zoning enforcement officer, that is my opinion. Okay. So we... Yeah. It's, Philip, we I, have a difference. If I made the decision to go to the standing scene was for cost effectiveness or because the town's other municipal buildings are have been converted or moving towards standing scene metal as it is, so... Well, it's, it was first durability. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, and then second, they, you know, the Senior Center Building Committee mentioned a big thing about in the future going to PV panels. Mm -hmm. They have experience with um, having this product and having PV. So it was then you know, the other PV panel. So ultimately, it was durability. It was easy you know, to put PV panels on it. Mm -hmm. um, less money in terms of maintaining it versus right. an asphalt. So it was all that. Okay. Um, and then all of a sudden, we discovered in that bylaw that it you know, has to be a shingle appearance. So that's when we said, okay, we got to. And we heard that because we went to the planning board and that's what they said. Mm -hmm. Not that we had a hearing with them, but they said the roof has to be a shingle roof because that's what the bylaw said. Mm -hmm. And you can't, the only way you're going to do that is to get a zoning variance. Mm -hmm. So in fact, they've told us that once. Even no, evidently fired. that isn't what they meant. Mr. Makamowski is the one who was really pushing us that it had to be a shingled roof. When we, yeah. when we first met with them, we had no clue that there was a bylaw that said the roof needed to be a shingle because we saw all these buildings that had this product on mm -hmm. it. So we honestly just went with that design and then at that informal meeting with them and they brought it up. But I agree the roof will last longer, but I'm... <coughs> You're I'm, just... What comes should come first. Yeah. Yeah. We're just putting the... the uh, Card ahead of the horse on but, the field. But I, mean, I disagree with that. Because, I, I mean, mean I, I, I think we have a. I think there. If the planning board doesn't want it, I think we have a problem granting the variance because variances are supposed to be few and far between in our power. Yeah, <laughs> so and I and think that's and kind of problematic. Uh, but we, I, I, we definitely made findings. We, we, we in, in procedurally the we don't need to I've have been, a, a rejection. We, we, I, you know, we've definitely done things where we say that it's subject. And, and like the, that letter makes it sound like they're trying to get around site plan approval. They're going to go to site plan approval, and one of the things they're going to say is we have a variance for the metal roof or, or not, right? I mean, they're still going to go through the entire site plan right. approval process. I'm, I'm, also, I'm also somewhat, <laughs> I think it's kind of odd that the planning board is taking a hard line stance on that, but um, I, I mean, the planning board, I mean, I guess the planning board could sue us over that. I don't know, if, I don't know how strongly they feel. Well, we almost, Got to that no, point they, at one time. The only way they can do it is, and that's it. There was one time, and it was brought up. But the only way it could happen is, is uh, that a building permit is issued, and then you sue on that. That the reason is is because, again, site plan. It's approval. It's not an issuance of a permit. It's just a it's the start of continuation of the process. So when when this happened years ago, the uh, town council said no. The only way it can happen, the planning board suing the zoning board over uh, the issue, mm -hmm. is after the uh, building permit is is actually issued. And that did happen. And but the chances of of anything being. And to John's concern, is there any procedural docket that says first this, then that? I no, mean, there isn't. Okay. No, no like uh, that's why I said plan, if there was something in the commercial plan review process, the, right. stipulated. Because the planning board, if they go to the planning board with the metal roof, the planning board doesn't have the authority to say anything other than no to the metal be, roof. They'd be back here before us anyway. Yeah. Now, if this, uh, was voted down tonight, would the um, two year? Yeah, unfortunately, yes. Yeah. I mean, so they, they could withdraw. You have the right to ask them to draw if that's yeah. the way you want to do I it. I mean, I, like I said, uh, it's a procedural matter, so the procedure would be well, it's if, your opinion on the procedural matter. Right. Yeah. And if they you withdraw, it, then they won't they'll be able to come back after they go to site plan. Under the scenario that, if they yes, so the they would be better if they withdrew rather than oh, had us made a decision. Of course, but you got three people here that that are saying that, in our opinions, me as a zoning enforcement officer, and two of your board members saying 
that they believe that there is no statement mm -hmm. that's in our bylaws or anything else that, that says that, that you got to go through plan, site plan approval first. I mean, hopefully they'll take it under their review anyway when they have the variance oh, sure. at that yeah. point. So I think about yeah, honestly, it. We're not trying to skip a step. No, I, I, I want people to understand. I, I, <clears throat> again, John, if, if think about it, if it was the reverse, they're going to say, I mean, we're only talking about probably 30 days here. No, you're not. Because the planning board could, I don't know, when's your, when's your... So May 15th is when we're going to submit, so June 19th will be our hearing. Um, but I mean, I don't know... You know, know. It would go through the whole process of the mm -hmm. planning board, and then the planning board can only say no to the mental room. Well, that's right. what I'm saying, and then, because we're trying to go to bid, Early July, like you know, early July, we're trying to go to bid. Be so, back here in July. so we got to come back here. And, I, mean, I mean, what are we saying though? Are we saying like I no matter what the planning board says, you guys are going to say okay to the like because say say we don't get the variance, then these guys have to redo their roof design because it's a totally different roof design if we're going with asphalt shingles. So that delays when we get advertised for bid and start construction. It's just, anyways, that that's kind of why I, when I talk about trying to keep things moving, that's mm -hmm. I'm thinking about the schedule we have in place for this project. So there's no redesign needed in order to do the standing seam, but if you do no. the asphalt shingles, you need to. Correct. Right now, we have a roof designed for this. And it's a financial burden, aren't you? <clears throat> well, that's your financial burden. Right. Okay. Is there any, uh, any other comments from the audience here? Um, Do you want us to take it to a vote, or would you? I don't, I don't know. I don't, want to, um, I don't see why there's any reason why we shouldn't, unless you really object to it. I really object to it. So what was the comment about if it's the vote is a negative vote for two, two, two years? You got to go. So if there's a negative vote tonight, we have you're, to ask. You're going to have a single vote. You're out. Right, but then we'll have the answer. But now, so I think we should ask for a vote. Yeah, but this fellow should have a metal roof. It should. <coughs> it will have a metal roof. We, we, yes. we need to be uh, unanimous for a variance. I'm sorry? We need to be unanimous for a variance? Yes. Oh, well, then we'll uh, have a vote. So we know the answer. Yeah. With, with a three member board, you have to have a unanimous vote. That's why you try to always have a five member board. Oh, uh, well, we just went through our little try. Yeah, because you'd be stuck then. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I want you to know that up front. Not no, I, yeah, I appreciate the honesty. <laughs> so is that also true then for the frontage question? That we have to go to zoning first? I would so, say so. Thing. That's, you know, if you, <coughs> you, you know, you're, you're trying to put too many carts before the horse here and pin one board against another. No, See, I, I, I don't think any the, board the, against another. It's your decision right. and your decision only. It should have no bearing. I mean, you got to have a little I've bit I've got of, two members from the planning board right here. It's their opinion. That's all it is. You take it any way you want, but it's still your opinion. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, for the benefits of everyone's time and the point and the fact that we will be seeing this again once the planning board rejects it, which they've made very clear that they will. I mean, it, within our purview, that the by, that they're seeking a variance of an established bylaw, and there's no there's no precedent set that it has to be rejected, and there's no order of events that whether you do anything with the variance or not, you could, you still have the opportunity to seek it beforehand. I mean, like there's no you know mm -hmm. do establish due process that they have to go to them first one of the things we could do was in the meantime as town council yeah. their opinion for you and I can I certainly can get the select board to okay that and try to get something back expeditiously and they say let's see what they say and if it's something that's I mean I think I mean, are you going to have a vote? Are you going to have a vote for the metal roof, no matter when they come before us? Oh, I don't. I don't have a problem with the metal roof. 
He's just worried about put going before the I'm planning board has a finding. But you kind of then why don't it. we why don't then why don't we continue the meeting and get get advice from town council on whether on whether we can do the variance it's probably better. subject to yeah. the planning board. That way they don't have and to then withdraw or wait, wait or and then, and, then, and then if you're if you're not going to the planning board until May fifteenth, then we would have an opportunity to reconvene at any time in a couple of weeks and then mm -hmm. and then we'd be able to rule on very it. good point. Well yeah, I mean if you guys have you know, maybe whatever. Yeah. So we need to we can talk and, and go and date? get yeah. get something through David to uh, get town, town council to ask I, that one yeah, question. Well, I'm not being difficult. I'm just I'm just asking, I'm just saying if you were to sit here and say I'm never gonna vote for it then we can just vote it down for them and they can right. move, no. they can move forward with I mean, another plan. You know I'm putting metal roofs on my building. Yeah, so. no, I, I, that's why I'm not being I'm not being sarcastic. I, yeah. I just was wondering if, if you're going to say I, I just I you know <laughs> when you when you get yeah no, you know letters know. from two planning board members. I mean I don't well, want to be in conflict with Jim's them. letter. Just says that he doesn't think we should grant the variance. He doesn't seem that concerned about the the order of operations. Mike's letter looks like he's talking more about the order, but mm -hmm. um, but I think that it's reasonable uh, compromise to get some advice and then okay. then we would. It's a good point. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. See what we can do tomorrow. Will these gentlemen need to come back? No, tonight? not right now. Right. No. All right, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Jane. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. yep. I know. <laughs> they all have. I just I just noticed that the other day. Yeah. I was driving through. I'm like, yeah, these metal all stand look really nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the same. It's pretty heavy metal too. It's very yeah, yeah. the gauge on it. Okay. Uh, I guess we can do the next uh, hearing, which is uh, uh, the Young Men's Club of Hadley, 140 East Street, Map 4F, Lot 18, seeks to modify. An existing special permit to add onto their pavilion. Correct. I'm here today to seek a finding on the special permit. Everything mapped out for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I think this is one we talked about mm -hmm. at the end of one of our previous meetings. It wasn't officially on the docket at that time. Right, yeah. And it has been now, so. So the permit's been granted for this? Yes. Okay. And you're seeking... It's a, spe a special... It's a, spe it's a special permit. Yeah. Okay, special permit. <coughs> well, um, so we have here, John, as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, before uh, we proceed, uh, we have uh, uh, disclosure um, papers here for... Uh, Jason and for Andrew being that uh, they are members of the uh, Young Men's Club so I just want to put that out. Yeah I'm, I'm a member of the Hadley Young Men's Club and Andrew is too um, but uh, for obvious reasons we I filled out a disclosure of appearance of conflict of interest which has been filed with the town and sent to the state as well. Um, that uh, yeah so and Andrew has filled that one as well. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just about, it's just a procedural thing because of the appearance. I, I don't think there's actually a conflict of interest. We're not, we don't own the club or have any type of financial interest in the club at all. Um, but we are members, so we, we did put those in. Okay, so um, the reason that we, I guess, are having this is because this um, club and its property is under a special permit. Correct. Which, whenever uh, there's a change, uh, they uh, it needs to come before the ZBA. So um, there's no issues regarding uh, boundaries, uh, setbacks, or anything. Uh, it's just that uh, because of the special permit, uh, they have to. Uh, come before us for approval, so. And you've already 
granted them a building permit, right? With the restriction that they have to be, be, be come before us, right? Yeah. So, is there anybody that would like to speak to this other than Sean? You yes, go ahead. Uh, I'm Mike Duffy. I'm a, a butter. I'm just curious how much larger the pavilions are uh, going to be. How much it's being expanded? Here, Mike, if you want to take a look. <laughs> Do you know what it is, Sean, in <coughs> yeah. terms of square foot? It was a, uh, we added a 10 foot by a 100 foot section and a 20 by 40, basically, underneath the pavilion. Oh, what's new and what's old here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pardon? Yeah. What's in red is what they're expanding. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It actually is going to close in more from yes, what I'm told. And actually so we're putting doors on the ends um, where the pans usually go. There'll be a door that shuts now so that contains it more and shoots it back towards the fields more. Um, <coughs> and as far as the other area where the 100 foot by the 10 foot slopes down more, doors can shut, more confined area. The back space is all going to be bar space for storage so no extra people back there. And this image, is that showing you're going to be putting arbs or something? <coughs> or yes, there will be, at, in due time, there will be uh, arm vitees for noise bearings as well. Okay. We can put more on the sides if needed. Yeah, it still has uh, a 100 foot uh, setback and 150 on the both the side and it's 510 to uh, D Street, so they're well within the uh, mm -hmm. uh, Tony Bylon. Any other questions or concerns? Yeah, is there anything else, uh, Mike? Uh, any other questions? Yes, sir. John Child, <coughs> yeah. from a butter across the street. I guess my just general question is, is that you said some key things about doors and yes. containing sound. That's more my issue or interest in being here. Is this? Yeah. There is, is that uh, the intent for the building? That is the intent. Uh, the intent is actually, was the main intent was for weddings, more or less for the weddings to get a little bit more space in there. But we do have, as everybody knows, there are some bigger parties that go on twice a year. And that was the general plan with the noise for the doors and to bring it down a little bit so everything gets sheltered out more towards the field way. So there isn't a problem in the town. So I'm sitting here because I am now a <laughs> peanut gallery member. <laughs> so I'm Tim Nyhart. I live at 16 Kozier Drive. I certainly have gone over there several times regards of uh, my neighbors complaining about the noise. And uh, we have worked with the Young Men's Club come, uh, to deal with the noise because last year it was excessive. There are a couple of things that are also coming out of this, other than what they're doing, certainly what they're doing is going to alleviate a lot of the noise that's going west over into our section. Also working with the police department, one of the things that came out of this is that uh, this past summer with the UMass crowd uh, was the, when the police were notified they went to the Young Men's Club. Mm -hmm. I did too. If you're standing there, it wasn't, it was loud, but it wasn't excessive. What we realized is that when we went over to the streets that were complaining, that, that, that called the police, actually the noise was even louder. And last summer, it was so loud it was shaking the houses on our street. It was so bad. Mm -hmm. So what's come out of this uh, is that the police department will come to the owner, homeowner of the complainant to see exactly what the issue is with noise. Because as we know, noise is a wave. So it can go do this. So you could be standing in one place and relatively quiet. You can walk even five or ten feet over and it could be excruciating. Yeah. So what the 
what the Young Men's Club is doing, and they've also stated that uh, one of the big problems that we had with the Young Men's Club was that they faced the, um, the big bandstand the wrong way yes. from what they wanted. So from now on, this, the, it's going to be well known that the bandstand has to face east and not west mm -hmm. into the fields and allow the dissipate and allow it to dissipate better mm -hmm. in the plants so i think that they've with the additions that they want to do yes it's expanding but also it's going to alleviate a lot of the noise which I'm, it was i was nice to see and uh, should be noted that they still have to adhere to the 10 o'clock oh, absolutely yeah and I think there's never been a problem with that, when I, from what I've been told. So. Okay. So, the hope is that they'll keep the 10 o'clock, that if, if the noise, if, if there is complaint, one, the police will come to wherever the complaint is, two, that they will do their utmost to minimize the noise. and, and uh, you know, the big problem was as soon as we walked away from whoever was in charge of the amplifier, they just five minutes later they just turned it back up. Mm -hmm. and that was the problem. Was the the stage company, the contractors that were doing that stuff, and they will be monitored hardcore this year after last year's incident. So, so I was concerned when I first saw this, and yes, I. I put them through the, a little bit of a ringer in regards to requiring this as, mm -hmm. as but um, they, 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 they came in, okay. which was nice. Anybody else have any comments? Large trees on? removed on the southerly property line too, which would hopefully stop a reflection kind of effect from the sound being blasted out that direction too. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, now I'll walk over here. Okay. Any other questions from anybody? <coughs> okay. Motion, Andrew. Uh, <coughs> yeah, make a motion that the um, that we grant the finding that the proposed uh, alterations are uh, in accordance with the existing special permit. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All set, John. Thank you. The Louis. <laughs> What you were here for? Did listen to this part? Here? No, I'm here about 40 West Street. Oh, that's. I need anything from you guys for the finding. Oh, sorry. I get anything from you guys. Did you not get? Yeah, you know, they'll. Uh, they'll write out. Uh, you notice that it's going to be. Those are the. Uh, oh, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, uh, sorry, I thought oh, okay. you'd get it. Thank you, Jerry. Oh, okay. okay. no, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Don't worry about it. I can come back on Thursday. Okay. Yeah, because we thought that these two. Hearings were going to be very, very lengthy. Oh, so we had six of them to do. Uh, so we took the other four. Was there another? Okay. Yes, I, I, what time? Yes, I, I don't know. The, I uh, got right the notice in the mail. Mm -hmm. But it was mailed to my old address in Connecticut. Okay. But it, where, where do you get the uh, address? The address? Address? Yeah, yeah, butter's list that comes Tim, from was the there, uh, Was there another notice? Yeah, from the assessors. Assessors? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, thank you. Can't we just do it? What's this for, Andrew? Can't we just do it? No, no, that's that's incorrect. This was not on the the uh, notice. Oh, it's not for the you're going to have another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. saying. So we're all done. Yeah. Well, that's what's on your agenda, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I gotta talk to them. Uh, it might be uh, we got too many, uh, oh. so I will tell you. I'll call you. And okay. Tell you when. Okay. Okay. Super. Okay. Uh, sorry okay. about that. Right. No problem. Go down the street. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thanks a lot. But again, I mean, it's can't go. It's a formality. Great. They can't. Right. It, yeah. are, they're not on the notice list. No. Bye. So, 
And are they the appellants or are they abutters or something? No, they're they're trying to do a two family. Oh, okay. Sorry. There's so does that uh, paperwork go with this? Yes. The disclosure, yeah. Yeah. So we're coming. Oh, okay. You just need to adjourn. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. Uh, yeah. Motion to second. All those in favor? Aye.